all well aware of what the Walmart Corporation is capable of. We're also well aware of how the Walmart Corporation runs its business and how its power and money that it has backing itself has changed the way that retail is done in this country. We're also well aware of how different times throughout history as Walmarts come into smaller towns, a lot of the small businesses all closed up because they cannot compete with the world's largest retailer. Recently, I received an email from someone claiming to have inside information that they would like to share with me that I could share with you. So today's video, we're going to be talking about this email that I did receive. And we're going to be calling this video, Why People Believe Walmart is the Worst Company. Some of the stuff that's in this is very eye-opening for a lot of people. Because like I said, we know of a lot of different things that goes on with Walmart. And Walmart does get talked about a lot in the news. Walmart does get a lot of uh, everything that goes wrong with Walmart is usually put out there. It's publicized and everything else. But we have to remember the reason being that is, is because Walmart is the world's largest retailer. And I hope you all watch this whole video because there's a lot of information I'm going to cover that is probably going to be very disturbing for a lot of you. And I hope it brings awareness to what's going on behind closed doors. Why people believe Walmart is the worst company. This is all part of an email that was sent to me a few weeks back. And I've pulled out certain segments of this email to cover and bring to your attention. Apart from being known for its cheap deals and its huge mega stores that it has, it turns out that the biggest and most famous retailer in the world, Walmart, is surrounded by so many different types of controversies, scandals, multi-million dollar lawsuits against poor and unsafe working conditions in its mega stores, its devastating impact on local communities that it has been doing over quite a few years that we're all well aware of, a whole lot of corporate greed. There is a lot of corporate greed going on at Walmart. The retail giant's corporate policies in the U.S., however, are only the tip of the iceberg for many that are involved for this. For decades, the Walmart's empire has been built on overseas marketing through wage, salary, and theft, and many other different types of things that have been taking place. They have been accused of child labor at one point, just now being unrevealed to a lot of the public. The truth is that the cost of low prices is higher than most people even dare to imagine. Due to its ultra low wages that it pays all its employees, which is very scarce in the amount of money that the company brings in, Walmart employees often need government benefits to have proper access to food and health care. Now listen close to this, folks, because this is where it gets really interesting. The company routinely uses taxpayer money to finance its corporate growth. A report that was released by the House Committee on Education and Welfare that was included in this email found that 200-person Walmart store costs federal taxpayers approximately $420,750 a year, or if you want to break it down per employee, $2,103. These costs include $36,000 a year for four free and reduced cost school lunches, $42,000 for a Section 8 housing assistance, $125,000 for low-income family tax credits and deductions, $100,000 for additional Title I expenses, $108,000 
for state children's health insurance expenses and $9,750 for low income energy assistance. Included in this email was a small article from the New York Times stating, Walmart workers are sicker on average than most workers. And yet the billionaire enterprise has done everything in its power to provide the cheapest health insurance plan possible for a lot of its different employees and their different ranking using taxpayer subsidies to fund most of these plans with wages so low that the vast majority of Walmart employees can't afford health care at all. But even so, if they want to receive some sort of health benefits, they have to disperse 20% copays as well as $5,000 out-of-pocket payments. Think about that, folks, just for a few minutes. That means, if you do the math, a Walmart worker is probably going to end up paying about $7,500 in medical bills before their insurance would even kick in. Unfortunately, the store chain has become an example of capitalism at its worst. Four members of the Walton family, the founders of Walmart, collectively own more than $100 billion in wealth, which accounts for more than the entire 40% bottom half of U.S. income earners collectively on their own. They do everything they can not to give up a penny more than they have to. And being the richest family in the world, they also become the ugliest reflection of massive corporate greed. The problem is not being wealthy but building a huge fortune on the backs of extremely low paid workers and abusing these workers to the max for the low pay that they make and using whatever strategies they can to avoid having to pay estate and inheritance taxes on their assets, even using molecules techniques such as establishing a type of charitable trust that can shelter money from taxes and later put that money back into the pockets of the family hairs, sometimes with a profit. Sam Walton was actually known for being moral opposed to charity. He said, we have never been inclined to give any undeserving stranger a free ride. And we feel very strongly that Walmart really is not and should not be in the charity business. It's in fact everyone else who should do that to support their underpaid employees. That's why criticism of Walmart has become about as common as to the store itself. The big box retailer does prove that the company does live up to its very bad reputation. Once again, this was in an email that was sent to me that I just covered on the eye-opening situations that are taking place behind closed doors. There'll be more on this email coming up soon on another video. There was too much in this email to do one video on. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope it opened your eyes to some of the things that are going on and in the videos to come, you'll be amazed at exactly what they do to avoid paying taxes in this country. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me today. Hope everybody stays safe. Keep prepping. Until next time, catch you on the flip side.